Hey guys, how y'all doing today? So today I'll be showing you how I make my Jamaican black cake, my Christmas cake, my rum cake. A lot of people call it a lot of different things, but it's the same cake we're talking about. This cake that we make for Christmas and for New Year's, the nice Jamaican rum cake. Yes, I'll be making this for you today, so stay tuned. All right, so first we're gonna start off with some butter and um, it's a 60 ounce butter to the pan and we're gonna leave the wrapping for a little later because we're gonna use the same wrapping to grease the pans so we're not gonna throw this away so first we want to get the butter in the pan and it has to be room temperature so the butter has to be sitting out from morning leave it out early the first thing you do when you get up in the morning to pick up the butter so it can just run down and be room temperature. So it's nice and soft. Then to this, we're gonna add two cups of brown sugar. To get the sugar, once we get the sugar and the butter in the pan, we're gonna just try to we're gonna incorporate them, so we're gonna mix them together. All right, so we're gonna start off on slow, slow to medium speed, because we don't want it all over the place. So we have to get this nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy, we have to cream, the butter, and the sugar, all right? So this might take a while. But it has to be a certain peak, it has to be stiff peak, it has to be fluffy, you're trying to get a fluffy consistency. Three teaspoon of baking powder. So three. Mm -hmm. So this is half teaspoon of all spice. Half teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Nutmeg, half teaspoon, and a pinch of salt. I'm gonna sieve through all the ingredients, all the dry ingredients that we just put in. Reason for this, you don't want the lumps in the cake, no ear pockets, you know. So we're trying to sieve through to make sure that we don't have that in the cake when we incorporated it in the wet ingredients. All right, so to our bowl with the sugar and the butter, we're gonna add one egg gradually. This is where we add the fruits, that nice yummy mixture of the fruits. So now that we have all the fruits incorporated in the mixture, this is when you add your browning. Or you can use the molasses, so whichever you prefer. Use the molasses or you can use the browning. This is where they get the color. So with the browning, you have to add to your lightness. If you want a little bit darker than this, you just add a little bit more. So just like the eggs, people, we have to add the flour with all the dry ingredients, the spices, gradually, because you don't want lump in the cake, you don't want an ear bubble in the cake, 
I don't want the flour to fly all over the place. So here I have my baking tin all greased and lined with parchment paper or wax paper if you want to call it that. But I um, also have these two little pans and I'll do this one as well. So I'll be pouring in the mixture and of course you have to have your oven on preheated 350 degrees and these cakes normally bake up to two hours. Batter in, you're gonna just do that. This releases all the air bubbles from the cake. So let's give it a nice little like that. Yeah. Alright, so now the oven is preheated at 350 degrees, and this is gonna be baking for two hours. We also want to make sure that we set a water bath underneath the oven this prevent the cake from drying out fast and also prevent it from burning if you like this video please leave a like you can share this video and also leave a comment if you do anything of the following differently thank you so much for watching enjoy making your rum cake i will show you what it looks like